to determine which dent heddle you would use on your rigid heddle loom. Um, this is give you a rough idea of which dent heddle to use. Get a ruler or a pencil or something onto which you've marked an inch long space. Sometimes you can even purchase little tools, little wraps per inch tools, but you don't have to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin, and I'm going to turn my ruler upside down so it's a little easier for me since I'm right-handed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap between the two and the three inch mark on this ruler. Then I'm going to count how many times I've wrapped and divide that by two. And that'll give me a rough estimate on which heddle, dent heddle to use. So I will just hold this onto here, onto the ruler, and then I'll just begin wrapping. And I want to make my wraps so they butt up against each other but don't overlap. So I'm on wrap number two now. Three, four, and I don't really need to count these as I go. I can just wrap, making sure they're tight together but not overlapping. And what I found when I use this particular yarn is that when I count these wraps that I have in within a, you know, a one inch area, so I went from the three inch mark to the two inch mark, I have um, 16 wraps per inch. So I divide that by two and that lets me know that I should use the eight dent heddle. If I wanted to make a cloth that was really tightly woven, I might try to use the 10 dent heddle. Suppose I wrap something around here and the wraps per inch is 20 wraps per inch. There again I would divide that by 2 which gives me the 10 dent heddle unless I'd like my fabric more loosely woven then I may try a sample dropping it down to the 8 dent heddle or if I want a more densely woven fabric I might go up to the 12 dent heddle. So this wraps per inch gives you a general idea of where to start, which heddle to use, and then you can vary that depending on what you would like your final cloth to, be, to feel like in the end.